Dear friends, right before Christmas, a friend from Florida shared with me this picture. It is a battle tank M60, all decked with Christmas lights. What a strange sight, I thought. I could think only of one similar example, the pink tank of Prague. It was a Russian tank displayed on a high pedestal in the center of Prague and was painted pink in protest against Russian imperialism and militarism. It even caused an international diplomatic incident because, you know, imperialists do not appreciate humor at their expense. But such a mockery was certainly not behind that tank in Florida because it stands in front of veterans' hangout. I also did a quick Google search and found about another dozen of Christmas decorated tanks all over the United States and in military bases overseas. And it gave me a pause. Florida tank was clearly not an outlier. It was of a well-established practice. What kind of Christmas do they celebrate? What kind of Christianity do they confess? What kind of Christ child do they welcome? One wrapped in camouflage swaddling clothes? Have they ever heard about the birth of Prince of Peace? They must follow some kind of a strange, weird, bellicose religion. And there is indeed a great need to return Christ to Christmas. Right among those who scream for it the most. And that is something you might not know, or I definitely did not know that well about American religiosity. And there is also a reason for Peace Church, like Rutgers, to exist and to preach, to worship Prince of Peace.